Hey Facebook, how are we? I feel very excited to be back. I feel like I've had a load of time off. So I've been off for about three weeks, which has been really good fun. Um, back into the business this morning and I thought I would kick off, you know, I like to do a Facebook live of a morning um, and share with you what I've been up to this morning. So it's Monday morning and first thing back is I had to go to court. So this morning, this is really dark, isn't it? I'm not sure why that is. My obviously lights are on. Oh, there we go. I'm in. I'm in light now. Um, so yeah, I had to go to court. A, a possession case for a tenant that has not been paying their rent on one of our properties in Milton Keynes. Now, we talk a lot in this group about things going right and, you know, the money that we can make from houses and, you know, the business you can build and the positive stuff. But I think a lot of the time we tend to shy away from sharing the negative stuff. So I thought I would do a little video this morning. I'm always always smiling because I think it's always positive to learn and all these sorts of things. But this morning was my first ever experience going to court to get possession of a property that um, a tenant is not doing what they should be doing. So we, we put this tenant in uh, in August of 2017. So quite some months ago, their rent arrears currently sits at £4,900. Um, plus the cost of our solicitors, plus the cost of court. Um, so well in excess of, you know, five and a half thousand pounds as we sit here today. Now, um, going to court this morning was an interesting experience. I had to meet the solicitors just before we went in. We had to obviously make sure all of our witness statements and all our paperwork and everything were all together. So uh, last week, um, we were sorting all that out and getting that over. So we went this morning. Um, the tenants didn't show up. They obviously have a right to come and defend their, their case, but they didn't. They didn't turn up. So it was just me and the solicitor in with the judge this morning. Now, um, it was a very short case. So one of the things I wasn't really sure what to expect is how long it would take, how long I'd be in there. And um, one of the things I learned this morning is if it says 10 o'clock on the docket, you don't go in at 10, you go in when the court's ready to have you. So um, anyone that's preparing for a case, prepare a period of time in your diary to allow for that. Um, and the next thing I learned is actually a, a hearing of this type is really sure we had a five minute slot in the diary um in the court's diary so five minutes for them to be basically, basically look over the paperwork look over our statements um we went in we sat down the uh, judge was kind of read through a load of the statements asked us a few questions things like why aren't they paying their rent now we've never been able to get an answer from this particular tenant as to why they aren't paying their rent whenever we speak to them they just get very aggressive and defensive and don't actually ever give you any answers so i couldn't answer that for the judge um he asked us a few other questions about timelines and all these different things and then he um which is really positive um obviously judged in our favor uh, and granted us a possession order so we've now got so bearing in mind if we just look at the timeline of this right tenant moved in in august They've not paid a single penny of rent since then. They obviously paid their money to move in to the house, but they haven't paid anything since then. So we've got all those rent arrears. Now, we're sat today on the 10th, 11th of June. Um, they haven't paid any rent for that period of time. Now, those of you that know me and watch my videos will know that whenever we um, crunch the numbers on any property, we always factor in a void buffer that allows us to be prepared for empty rooms, unpaid rent, these sorts of un planable unplanable i'm not sure that's a word um these sorts of events that happen that cost you money um that you can't really plan for and you can't really pipeline for so yes we've got a budget that allows for that i'll be honest our buffer against this property doesn't stretch to september october november december january february march april may june 10 months worth of unpaid rent it just doesn't we didn't ever predict that that would happen so it's definitely um coming out of our profits if you like you know had they been paying their rent there'd be four thousand nine hundred pound in my bank rather than in theirs um you have to prepare for that so it's so important that when you do the numbers on any property that you're taking whether it's a multi-letter or a single letter or anything you make sure you put those voids in so we've gone from august to now with unpaid rent we serve a notice their notice um expired they didn't move out uh, they couldn't give us any answers as to why that is we then had to apply for the court the court's taken until today to actually get in front of a judge and talk to them about what about the position so we've now been granted possession we now have 14 days. So from now, 14 days, the tenant will be issued with that uh, judgment. They'll be told they've got 14 days to leave. Now, knowing these tenants, I suspect they probably won't go anywhere in that 14 days, um, which is a, sh you know, it's a, it's a pain in the ass because actually we not only um, do we have unpaid rent, but actually we want to be able to advertise it and get people looking at the room so that we, but we've got no timeline as to when they're going to be gone at this point. So, um, 14 days 
after that 14 days, we then appoint a bailiff. And my solicitor's been running through it with me this morning. Obviously, like I said at the beginning, it's my first time of, of doing this i've been in, doing property for two and a half years and it's the first time this has happened so in the grand scheme of things it's not actually a major major disaster and um, very frustrating you know if this had happened in the first on my first property my first one I, I'd, I'd feel quite deflated about it all but you know we allow for it in the numbers we allow that buffer it's not coming directly out of my pocket it's coming out of the business's buffer fund so that's okay um but once the bailiffs are appointed the bailiffs in Milton Keynes right now have got a five to six week backlog. So that actually means from today when we are granted possession. So we've been told by a judge that they've got to go. We can get the house back. We've got eight weeks where they still don't have to pay any rent. We suspect they probably won't. Um, they, they're not forced to go yet. And probably it's going to take eight weeks for us to get a bailiff in to actually go and remove them from the house. So that's another eight weeks worth of unpaid rent. It's another a uh, couple of hundred pounds for a bailiff, you know, and the time and effort and, you know, all of those sorts of things. So, you know, three weeks off, straight back into it. We love that. Um, but what I wanted to do in this video is really just share that actually, you know what, it isn't always plain sailing and that's okay. Because if you run your business right and you set it up right and you set all your houses up right in the first place, you will have one, the, a buffer that financially will allow for you to have over five thousand pounds worth of costs running up you know it would be great if that was profit in our business but we haven't lost it so that I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with that it's the nature of the business when you're a landlord you have to expect that sometimes some people won't pay rent good management is another thing so you minimize the risk of this it's really important if you're getting started and actually one of your biggest fears is what if we have empty rooms or we have unpaid rent? And I have to say, it's one of the most often, it's one of the questions I get asked a lot with the people that I work with and in this group um, and, in, in, you know, generally, how do you guarantee you won't get voids and unpaid rent? Well, you can't, you know, you cannot guarantee that that is not going to happen because it is a part of what we do, you know, like making money is part of what we do. Managing tenants and the bad stuff is also part of what we do. So, I wanted really just to share that and also to say, hey, I'm back from a holiday. I've planned loads of really fun stuff for you guys. Um, I'm going to be putting lots more Facebook lives in uh, every morning like I was doing before I went away. I feel very rested. I'm very excited to be back. So Charlotte Walker, hey, how are you? Nice to see you or speak to you online, whichever it is. Um, guys, have an amazing Monday. Have an amazing week. Um, I will speak to you very soon. Hey, Toyin, how are you? Thanks for this morning. Um, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow morning, probably. Have a great day. See you, bye.